Hello, YouTube and fight fans watching all around the world. And welcome to the Manny Pacquiao Crazy Speed Highlight Video. In this video, we will highlight some of Manny's fastest combinations and some of the best fights of his career. Brought to you by Fight Nation, the best source for boxing and MMA highlights. Be sure to like and subscribe now. Our first clip features Pacquiao versus Ricky Hatton. This was a rough night for Ricky, as Pacquiao was unrelentless with his combinations. Pacquiao weathered an early storm in the first, which resulted in two knockdowns, which led to a devastating knockout from a left hook in the second. And boy, judging by Ricky's face, it was not fun at all. I mean, just look at that left hook. That's as clean as you're gonna get, folks. Our next clip comes from Pacquiao versus Miguel Cotto. Pacquiao absolutely dominated this fight, landing over 300 punches, while Cotto only landed 60. This fight showcased the dominating speed and accuracy that Pacquiao brought to the table. This vicious uppercut absolutely stuns Cotto, and it's amazing that he was able to get back up to his feet. But Pacquiao continued the pressure with fast, unrelenting combinations that seemed to come from nowhere. It wasn't long before the referee had seen enough and stopped the fight, giving Manny Pacquiao the win and retaining his welterweight championship. Up next, we have Pacquiao versus Margarito. The Pac-Man displays some destructive combos that result in an orbital bone fracture on Margarito's right eye. And the Tijuana Tornado couldn't spin anything on Pacquiao. Just look at this right, left, right, left, right hook, left uppercut, left straight, right jab. Just beautiful. Up next we have Pacquiao versus Juan Manuel Marquez III. This was the third fight of their trilogy and resulted in a very close decision. Both men displayed tremendous speed and accuracy throughout the fight, but Pacquiao had just enough edge over the judges to score him the victory. And although many believe that Marquez had the edge in the fight, we can clearly see here that Pacquiao was able to land more effective strikes than these crazy and wild flurries that they had throughout the fight. Pacquiao landed some lightning fast combinations and was able to avoid some heavy strikes from Marquez, once again showing his superior speed and accuracy. What a nice smile. In our next clip, Pacquiao returns from an 11 month absence for boxing to take on Brandon Rios for the vacant WBO welterweight championship. And for being gone for 11 months, Pacquiao looked absolutely dominating in this fight. I mean, just look at this. And Rios is sticking his tongue out and shaking his head, but make no mistake, he's getting whipped. I mean, God, a beautiful left hook and a right jab. He was able to win the welterweight championship after almost a year of inactivity. Wow. In our next clip, Pacquiao looks to avenge his loss against Timothy Bradley in their second fight of their three-fight trilogy for the welterweight championship. In their first fight, Timothy Bradley picked up a very controversial split decision victory against Pacquiao, which many believe Pacquiao had won. After the fight, Pacquiao wanted nothing more than to avenge his loss against Bradley, and would stop at nothing to do so. And avenge his loss, he sure did. After landing countless combination after combination, Pacquiao was able to pick up the unanimous decision victory to not only avenge his loss, but to also end Bradley's undefeated streak. Up next, we have Pacquiao versus Chris Algieri. This fight was a one-sided slaughter fest by Pacquiao, as he landed six knockdowns throughout the fight. Here he lands a jab straight jab left hook right hook combo that stunned Algieri, making him roll backwards like it's gymnastics. Tries to keep his distance from Pacquiao, but Pacquiao can close the distance with anybody, and he continues to keep the pressure, which results in more knockdowns and a bad night for Algieri. Just look how he charges in and mows right through Algieri like it's nothing. Oh, did you see that straight? God, his head almost spun around like the exorcist. Yeah, but maybe you should just chill for a minute. But Pacquiao has no chill as he continues to fire off combinations one by one and results in more knockdowns, giving him the unanimous decision victory. Up next, we have a fight earlier in Pacquiao's career as he takes on Alonso Labuaba. I horribly butchered that name. I do apologize. Pacquiao took this fight at two weeks' notice and ended up dominating the fight with a win by TKO, which won him his second world title of his career. The next fight is Pacquiao versus Barrera, the first of their trilogy. 
In this fight, Pacquiao showcased unrelenting pressure as he continuously took it to Pereira. Pacquiao broke Pereira down until the 11th round, where he was able to finally finish him. This win led Pacquiao to be the very first Filipino and Asian boxer to become a three-division champion, and gave Pereira's first and only defeat via finish. Next we have Pacquiao vs. Marquez, the first of the trilogy. In this fight, Pacquiao was able to knock down Marquez three times with vicious combinations and fast punches. However, Marquez was able to come back in the later rounds, but not without suffering from Pacquiao's vicious jab and left hook combos. The fight ended in a controversial draw, which many believe Pacquiao had won the fight. Pacquiao would go on to dominate the rematch in the subsequent trilogy match afterwards. Here we could see some of Pacquiao's display of power. Just look at this nasty left hook. Oh, and another nasty combination to secure a knockout victory. This next fight, Pacquiao looks like he's in a little bit of trouble, and left hook. Just so clean and accurate, almost knocking him through the ropes. And man, he is just dazed and wondering what the hell just happened. Trying to get back up to his feet, but ultimately Pacquiao wins by knockout. Up next we see Pacquiao get hit for a change, but doesn't do anything, and catches another left hook, but still on his feet. And then a quick right left that puts Marquez out. Just absolutely slept him with that left hook. But Marquez isn't out for good as he keeps pressing on and they exchange some more. Here's a beautiful left hook from Pacquiao, and one from Marquez as well. Two continue to exchange in a violent last few minutes, with Pacquiao coming out on top two warriors putting it all on the line. Here we see more domination from Manny Pacquiao as he continues to pick apart his opponent limb from limb. His opponent had no answer for Pacquiao's lightning fast speed and sharp precision, and was able to win this fight easily. What a devastating left cross. A great showing of respect from these two fighters. Here's some more cool shots of the Pacquiao-Rios fight. It's total domination. And even though Rios is sticking his tongue out and laughing, you know he's feeling the pain. Ugh, oh, deadly left hook. And a straight. I mean, with these combinations, he just makes it look easy. Another easy win for the pac -Man. Up next, we have Pacquiao versus Diaz. Like most of his fights, Pacquiao is picking Diaz apart. He is the much faster striker with more precision. I mean, look at that. A jab followed by an uppercut. Just beautiful and effortless. Here's a crushing right hook to the body of Diaz, followed by another uppercut. Both landed here, but Pacquiao got the better. And boom, another right uppercut. At this point, Diaz is just a bloody mess. It is just taking a barrage of punches from Manny Pacquiao. And then Pacquiao puts him out of his misery with his left hook. Yeah, the lights are completely out on this one. And now back to Pacquiao and the name I can't pronounce. With only two weeks notice, Pacquiao was able to land devastating combinations that resulted in knockdowns and eventually a knockout. Uh, look how happy Pacquiao is to win his second world title. Up next we have Pacquiao versus Matisse. And looks like they're getting their cardio in before the fight. Cardio is important. Pacquiao comes out swinging and Matisse covers up pretty nicely. But Pacquiao is able to break right through that with a vicious left uppercut. Which secured him yet another knockout victory. And up next, we take another look at the Pacquiao versus Margarito fight. Pacquiao comes out swinging, landing vicious combinations that happen faster than I'm able to commentate on. I mean, just absolutely picking his face apart, breaking his orbital bone. And for most of this fight, all Margarito is really able to do is cover up. In just this combo alone, he lands seven strikes. 
I had to slow down the video just to make sure. I mean, he just does not give Margarito an inch, just smothering him with combos, and all he's really able to do is defend himself. Even Pacquiao himself fled with the referee to stop the fight because he was worried about Margarita's condition, which not only shows how much he truly dominated that fight, but also shows the class and sportsmanship that Pacquiao has. It truly is no wonder why Manny Pacquiao is considered one of the greatest of all time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this in the future. And follow us on all social media. This has been Fight Nation.